Well, that was good timing. Knowing to stop, we have a Citroen DS4. It's a 1.6E HDI Airdream D-Style 5 door. It's a 2013 on a 63. It's only £30 road tax a year and it will do up to 72 miles per gallon. It has a full service history, which I'll go through in a, in a second with the service book. 52,075 miles, two registered owners from new. MOT till 19th, it's easy for me to say, MOT till the 19th of June 2019. Fuel economy, 55.4 urban, 72.4 extra urban and 65.7 combined. So very, very economical. 0 to 16, 12.4 seconds, top speed of 118 miles per hour and 115 brake horsepower. It's a really nice car, very good condition. It's a nice colour combination. The uh, bright metallic red, black wheels, and it's got black half leather, perhaps half vinyl, who knows. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Just get the air con on. Turn the radio down. Um, service history. Uh, well, one thing to warn you about when you get in, I tend to uh, lean into a car and then come over. That's kind of on a roller, so it's, it's easy to go flying. So watch out for the uh, booby trap there. Service history. Uh, it has a very good service history, this car just show you there 30th of 8th 2014 7304 miles uh, Bentley Citroen 2nd of 9th 2015 at 15505 again Bentley Citroen all nicely stamped up 4th of 7th 2016 at 20,772 Bentley Citroen um, 28th of 4th 2017 33,988 Bentley Citroen and the uh, 23rd of the 3rd 2018 at 46965 uh, Bentley Citroen so it was only done uh, uh, just short of four months ago real good main dealer service history um, and they've, they've stamped it which is uh, what I like to see and that will go in the book and the book into the glove box and then you've got a proper record of the service history without having to phone anybody up well <laughs> it won't go in it won't go into the glove box it's too big oh hang on sit and think of everything there's a, a little drawer underneath the driver's seat so if I forget where I've put it and you're buying it that's where it is great car great specification lovely color uh, contrasting seats inside it does look like leather that or, or leather panels the back will be vinyl because they always are but uh, contrasting kind of ivory um, material and black material in the center it's also got a real good feature which I think should be standard on all cars apart from electric lumbar support there's a little switch at the side here whether you can see from that camera little switch at the side there you switch that on and it's the massage function and it's on the, both the front seats and I promise you it's, it's, uh, it's excellent it should be standard on all cars so we've got front central armrest there lifts up a little bit of storage space in let's just see where this is that's it so height and reach adjustable steering wheel and here we go electric handbrake don't get me started on them I, uh, I'm a firm believer that you should have a proper safety catch in the middle here which can be grabbed by both driver and the person who's giving you a test drive which is usually me sat in the passenger seat and uh, on many occasions in my career I've had to reach for the handbrake the switches So as I say, really good spec, 
nice steering wheel, multifunction. Just need to get a bit further away there. That's it. Multifunction steering wheel. I think we've got cruise control on the left here. Radio controls on the right. Telephone here. I, I haven't got a clue what that's for. Just see if I can make something do something. <laughs> From what I can see, that looks like it's supposed to make the stars come out, and that's that's an eclipse. What is that? I've no idea, we've got a light on here. Why are the doors shut? We'll have to come back to that later. I'll just put the handbrake on. Climate control is here, or aircon controls. Um, the aircon is blowing nice and cold, which is a good thing. CD radio, you've also got hands free Bluetooth. Audio streaming too, which is a great feature. We have folding door mirrors, which you can see there, and they're electrically operated. Electric front windows, it's a five door, looks like a three door, the handles on the, the back doors uh, kind of um, camouflage into the window. Great engine lovely to drive, very very economical, reasonable road tax and uh, lots of miles to the gallon. I uh, have quite a soft spot for Citroens, uh, especially the old ones, way way ahead of the time. feels faster than the 0 to 60 time would suggest. A nice blue glow on the dash there. Digital speedo and analog speedo clock. That's telling me when to change gear in the left hand side clock and that's uh, also the rev counter. On the right your fuel gauge and it's telling me how far I can go till empty which by the look of it isn't that great. So uh, we'll not be able to go too far today. We have two keys for it, both remote control. Split rear folding seats. We've got reversing sensors too. A nice chrome trim, chrome trim around the windows, in the, the front grille, the, the Citroen badge, and uh, on the rear bumper, which uh, kind of accentuates the exhaust tips, or where you would think they would be. The steering's great. It's a very comfortable ride. And despite that awful gear change of mine, it's a great gearbox. It's been a long day. I'm not going to go up the M6 tonight because I think it's probably going to be busy. So we'll just nip along to the next junction. Into C. 
six there. Blimey, you're going too fast there. So, up is speed limit, sensors off, that's cruise, and we're set there at 70 miles an hour, car's doing just short of, it's probably doing about 1750 revs in six gear, so hardly working. stupid button. Got no rattles or vibrations. Both the electric dormers work. As do the windows. Very, very tidy car inside and out. Been well looked after. Just um, let's see, source. So, clicking the source button here on the steering wheel that takes the first one to input auxiliary, then it goes to my uh, iPhone. If I turn that up. That's uh, Bob Geldof and the Boomtown Rats who, uh, since he shouted at the fishermen, have completely gone off. So we'll uh, we'll skip that one. In fact, I'll play something else. There you go. Eagles take it to the limit. can't leave it on too long because it, YouTube will see it as a copyright infringement and take the audio track off this uh, video but uh, as you can see there the, uh, the stereo the Bluetooth hands-free everything's working fine the Bluetooth streaming cruise control spot on I just don't know what that is. I just can't see anything that it's, it's doing. Oh yes I can, it's the interior light. So I was half right about uh, the stars and so on. Unbelievable, I mean, not on the steering wheel. I think I'm going to go back along the motorway. It's, uh, it's getting towards home time now and I've still got plenty to do. Let's say handling's great. Not as good as uh, a CW Berry truck, but... Adequate all the same.
gearing certainly runs away with you. comfortable seats to say this the, the massage function is still going strong we have uh, these kind of wind deflectors around the outside of the window which should enable you to put the window down without uh, getting spray coming through but you have got icy cold air conditioning here so why you'd want to do that I'll, I'll never know there's um in the boot there's a another nice touch which again would come in handy on a, on all cars there's um there's a interior light which comes on when you open the boot but you can actually take it out and it's also a rechargeable torch so uh a, a, a torch that's got full charge all the time. There's also a little plug in the back which is a power socket but instead of the cigarette lighter um, fitting it's two USB sockets so you can charge two appliances in the back there while you're uh, while you're driving out of sight as well very very nice range of cars now Citroens The old days the shapes used to be kind of an acquired taste and I've sold plenty of my time going back to I think it was an old DS that just had didn't have a brake pedal there was just a button that you pressed with your foot and it, <laughs> those brakes were sharp very stylish now these cars and almost a fashion accessory as well as is the old 2CV. get back to the garage I'll show you how to delete a mobile how to pair a mobile and also how to stream audio via the Bluetooth system in here Might have a look 
what that button's for. little uh, cup holder there and also an ordnance bin which you can uh, use or take out well, I suppose that's an ashtray really So we may have figured it out. Okay, so on, thumb on there. Just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth um, system in this uh, Citroen. Um, first of all, menu, and you see there you've got radio, telephone, um, fuel computer, Bluetooth and settings. So we'll click along to Bluetooth, click OK, connections management, click OK again. You see there iPhone, well we'll, we'll click OK on iPhone. Connect telephone, connected media player, connect telephone and media player or delete connection. So we'll go down there to delete connection, delete connection, defaults to yes, OK. That's it gone. We'll, we'll do it again. OK, delete connection. It's already on delete connection now. Yes. My phone, delete connection, OK, delete connection. Yes. Okay, that, that's it. Right. Pairing a mobile phone. Onto menu. If it's not already on Bluetooth, there we go, just click it to Bluetooth. Bluetooth, okay. Search for device, okay. And we'll just go over here. It's already, my phone has already picked up BT radio. So that's the one. We'll just see what happens on the, the actual radio. Barry's iPhone, OK. It's asking me for a, a PIN number. Well, right, OK. We'll go on there. BT radio. Nought, 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 nought. Pair. Accept connection with Barry's iPhone, yes. OK. We'll put in the code nought, 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 nought. And then we need to go to OK, just click the down arrow, OK. 
connection with Barry's iPhone successful. I don't want it to allow my contacts, but you will. Uh, and that's, uh, that's it done. One of the other good things with this system is if you go to your music and uh, click on there, if at the bottom there's a red triangle with three red circles, and you see there BT radio is ticked. If it's not for any reason, just tick it. And then we go to source. So source button, input aux, Barry's iPhone, turn it up. Bad boys. Uh, also, there's that button, or you can use this source button here on the radio. So that's it, that takes it back. And th that's it, easy as that. Good system, um, uh, great car.